In this video, I'll show you how to remove blemishes on skin using GIMP. There are two tools that are commonly used to remove unwanted elements in a photo. The first one, the heel tool, which is down here in the bottom left of my toolbox, kind of looks like a band-aid. Uh, just above that is the clone tool, and that looks like a rubber stamp. Now both of these are brush tools, so their tool options here, um, they're almost the same. Uh, there are a few differences when you click on each one, of course. And that's what I want to focus on first. I want to focus on the differences before I move ahead. So I'm going to go over to this other image I have here. And we have uh, four uh, different colors here intersecting. I'm going to be on my clone stamp tool, or clone tool. And I'm going to make sure I have a hard brush selected. Not a soft one, but a hard one. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select a source. This is where you want to get uh, pixels from, basically. So to select my source, I'm going to hold down control, and I'm going to left click. And I'm going to come over here to the left area. Um, this is the destination, and I'm just going to do a regular left click. So you can see it basically copied the pixels from the source and pasted them over here. It didn't take anything into consideration, like the white area around it. It didn't try to blend every, anything. And that's the difference with the heel tool. So I'm going to select the heel tool now. And again, I'm just still here on a hard brush. This isn't a soft brush at all. I'm going to select my source. I'm going to hold down control, left click again. And then I'm going to come over to the white area again. And notice the difference when I click on it. So when I click here, it's taken that white area into consideration behind it. And it's tried to blend all those pixels together. And that's what makes the heel tool better uh, when you're working with skin than the clone tool. So I'm going to close this. And I don't need to save any changes. And back to our portrait image here. Uh, and the reason I selected this one is it's really good because it's a directional light. Um, obviously it's brighter on the left side and as you get across to the right it slowly gets darker. Um, so that's why you really want to make sure you're using the heel tool and not the clone stamp tool. Uh, before I make any changes I want to switch from a hard brush. I'm going to select a soft brush. Maybe we'll go about here. And I'm also going to make all my changes on a different layer. So I'm just going to duplicate this layer. Um, I could right click and I could choose duplicate layer. Or I could use the little handy icon here, click uh, duplicate layer. Or I can use a keyboard shortcut. I have mine set to control J. That's what I'm going to use there. And I'm going to double click on the name and I'm just going to call this heel. Now, the reason I do all my changes on a separate layer is that uh, you get more control. Uh, later on you can adjust the opacity if you want to make layers blend better. And also, if I close this image and uh, I'm relying on the history stack, I can't actually go back to that history if I close it. Here, you could come back to previous steps if you have everything on separate layers. But moving along, I'm going to put the heel tool over top of an area I want to remove. So if I want to remove this blemish here, I'm going to make the tool about the same size as it. I'm going to find an area closer by where the skin's a little bit cleaner. I'm going to hold down Control to select my source, and I'm going to click to uh, heal. Now I could click some more, and I also have the option to click and drag. So again, I could select a new source, and I could start healing the area next to that. And of course, this will keep going on. I'll find different blemishes, I'll find areas of skin that I think need to be cleaned up, and I can keep covering them up. Now notice, I'm going to go back to the clone tool just for a sec. Um, if I tried to select, say, an area right here, again, it's a bit brighter, and I tried to clean up this area back here, it doesn't do a good job. It's cloning those pixels. So I'm going to undo that. I'm going to go back to the heel tool and you'll see it'll blend. So I could even select this area that's brighter. I can click and drag in here and it's blending those pixels. So it actually looks better. Now you can actually make it easier on the, on the tool. Um, I'm even going to select an area that's darker already instead of the lighter, lighter area and just uh, heal that area that way. Um, so again, I could keep going around the image. Um, if it doesn't look good, don't be afraid to do it again. Uh, you can always change the size of your brush too. You can make it uh, larger, smaller, and so on. And go around your image. Um, it's really up to your discretion. Uh, you're the photographer. Um, of course, if you're taking photos for a client, um, they want it, They might want more healing than you're comfortable doing, but it's really up to them if you're taking photos for them. Um, so I'll just kind of take a, a quick look now. Um, obviously, I would keep going. I, I would uh, clone out, or sorry, heal out a lot. But I'm going to go, here's a before, there's after, before, and after, and you can see it's already starting to make a difference. Um, you might choose to leave natural parts of the skin, like beauty marks on, and just remove blemishes. Uh, you might also want to, I'm going to zoom in a little bit here, you want to take these little pores into consideration as well. 
Um, what I would do, I would probably come in and I would clean up the ones that are quite large. Um, so something like this. And you can really see the pores in this image again because you have that directional light uh, where it's coming from one side. So it creates those shadows and you really see the pores. But as you start getting smaller and smaller um, in those pores, uh, what you'll actually do later on um, is probably use a skin smoothing technique uh, where you blur it a little bit, but you also retain texture. And that's what you'd come in to get rid of those pores. Uh, for the heel brush, I would focus on larger things um, like noticeable blemishes uh, around here and other parts of the skin. Uh, but that's really the quick introduction, uh, something that's done really commonly. Um, often if there's just one or two things to remove, I can do that with my raw photo editor. But something like this, you really want to come in with a tool like GIMP to clean up those blemishes. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to my channel and click the like button below. If you'd like to learn more, please consider purchasing the open source photography course available at rileybrandt.com lessons. More information about the course and links to all my social media sites can be found in the description below.